Welcome back to Restoring Rosalind. Um, I thought I would do something a little bit different and do a, uh, a short process video about something specific, which in this case is making the top of the stem band and the scud hook, um, which the scud hook is something that is, is for, I think, unique to luggers. Um, so uh, the stem band's in two pieces, um, essentially. The lower part is bronze, where it is um, meeting the waterline and underwater. Um, and then the upper part, far above that, is steel, because I needed to be able to uh, weld it together in place to get it to fit, um, as you can see here. Um, yeah. So the, the stem band does, does a couple of things. Mostly it's um, wear and chafe protection, but it also, because I've wrapped it over the top and down the back of the stem head, it protects the end grain of the stem and, uh, and actually um, sort of it attaches to the cap rail as well. Um, so it, I think it's very, very strong. Um, now I'm just tacking everything together, making sure it fits nicely before doing the, doing the final welds. Now, I am by no means a welder um, and can weld, um, <laughs> but I'm definitely not a welder. Uh, I think uh, everything went together well enough, though. Um, cleaned up quite nicely. You can also see here on the starboard side of the stem the bow roller for the anchor chain. Um, that's actually something that, uh, while it's not original to Rosalind, is, is you know, original to Rosalind as, as I got her, um, which I'm returning as much of that into service as I can. It is a very large roller. Um, I would have been happy with something a little smaller, but it's the one I've got, so. Now I'm in the metal shop with my little forge uh, setting up to work on the scud hook. Now the scud hook is a, a big metal hook that goes through the stem head and acts as the attachment point for the tack of the forelug. Um, so it has to be quite stout. This is, I think, three-quarter inch steel. Is it five-eighths or three-quarter? I don't remember. As you can see, my anvil is not held down very well, so I'm losing a bit of energy there, but uh, I made it work anyway. <laughs> so. 
and I do actually really enjoy blacksmithing. Um, it's not something that I've had a lot of time for the past few years, but um, I do really enjoy the process and uh, find the results very rewarding. Um, I'm sort of uh, spreading out the tip of the hook. sort of thinning the, the shank um, where it comes into that, which is really an aesthetic thing, but um, that's all right. I feel like there ought to be more room for aesthetics in the world. Um, I think, you know, an awful lot of things these days are just utilitarian, and uh, while I don't dislike that, um, I think that there is there's often room for making things beautiful as well. A more experienced blacksmith would no doubt have been able to do this in less heats than I did, but I did it, so... <laughs> drawing out the shank there a little bit and adjusting the geometry. And there it is. So um, the next part of the process is um, the part of the hook that goes through the stem head I wanted to be galvanized which meant that I had to do the hook itself and that part separately um, because forging burns off galvanization um, it would not have survived that so what I did was get a piece of uh, three quarter inch threaded rod galvanized threaded rod and um, now I'm in the process of welding the hook to that Carefully. And there it is stuck. <laughs> um, so I'm just adding more layers of weld and I ended up building up quite a bit because I wanted there to be a f sort of a flare, um, flared, uh, what would you call that? Like um, a shoulder, if you will, um, where the hook meets the stem head itself. Um, so that when I put the nut on the far end of it, on the inboard end of the stem head, uh, it'll have something to draw against. Um, and there we have the finished article. And in place. Yeah, so uh, not the usual video that we do, but um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned, there's much more to come. Thank you.